Grade 4 math, number 85, relate hundredths and decimals. So we're going to relate hundredths as a fraction to decimals, okay? A decimal point is a dot symbol used to separate dollars and cents in money amounts and to separate the ones place value from the tenths place value of a decimal. If we were to use money as an example, this is $3.20. You can see, for the cents part of it, this is 20 cents, which is part of a dollar. 100 cents is equal to a full dollar, so this is 20 hundredths, see? 3.2 is 3 and 2 tenths, that's the decimal point, that's a whole number 3, and that's the tenths on the right side of the decimal, okay? A decimal is a number that is to the right side of the decimal point. So that 2 is a decimal. It represents 2 tenths. Okay? All right. We discussed tenths in video number 84, if you want to go back. For one hundredth, there's a hundred squares on this little model right here. Okay? And this little one in the corner is one one hundredth. Okay? Out of the hundred squares, each little square is considered one one hundredth of the whole thing. One hundredth means one part out of one hundred parts. That's one little one out of a hundred. Okay? One dollar is one hundred cents. So one cent is one one hundredth of a dollar. It is point zero one of a dollar. One hundredth. This is the ones place, we have our decimal point, we have our tenths place, and we have our hundredths place. And a penny, one cent, is one hundredth. See? Now we have a very long number line here. Look at this. Look how long this thing is. All the way to here, that's one. That's one hole. Just one. And all of this in between zero and that one is a hundred parts, okay? So if we look closely, <clears throat> this first little line is one one hundredth, two one hundredths, three one hundredths, four one hundredths, five one hundredths, until we get to ten one hundredths, see? And then it goes twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, all the way to the end to one whole, okay? So that is how we look at hundredths, okay? There's a hundred little parts. If Tala won the race by three and twenty-five one-hundredths of a second, it would look like this. Three and twenty-five hundredths seconds. That means there's three whole ones, two-tenths, and five-hundredths. Three whole ones, and if you look closely, each line coming down could be a tenth. That's ten, that's twenty, and half of one is twenty-five. See? Three and twenty-five out of a hundred. Okay? Three point two five. Alright? Let's take a look at this. My little green square here has one hundred little squares in it. There's ten going this way and ten going this way. Okay? Here's ten, and six more makes sixteen orange ones. Sixteen of the hundred are orange. 0.16 is 16 hundredths. It's considered one-tenth and six hundredths. See? One-tenth and six one-hundredths. Right here, we have 10, 20, 30, and 4 that are orange out of the whole hundred. So 34 one-hundredths are colored orange. It's 0.34 or thirty-four hundredths. It consists of three-tenths and four hundredths. See? Three-tenths plus four hundredths. It makes thirty-four hundredths. The sixteen hundredths is sixteen parts of a hundred. The thirty-four hundredths is thirty-four parts of a hundred. Okay? So now I'm going to show you something really cool. If I were to take one of these little squares and draw the lines coming down, I could break it into 10 
long lines. If I filled in one of them, it would be as if I filled in 10, see, because there's these little lines coming across, because there's 100 in here, but I broke it up into 10 parts, see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One of the 10 parts would be one tenth of it, even though there's 10 little ones in it out of 100. One tenth is equal to 10 one hundredths. We can just take the zero and cross it off and make it one tenth. Look at that. Isn't that something? If we did it with our place value chart, it would be the same thing as saying 10 hundredths and just crossing off the zero and saying it's a tenth. 10 hundredths is the same thing as 1 tenth. Same thing for 40 one hundredths. We could just take the zeros off the end and have 4 tenths. Look at that. 40 one hundredths can be 4 tenths. We just take the zero off. Isn't that something? Yeah, it's equivalent fractions. So those are hundredths. It's the second place value over from the decimal point. Okay. And we're going to continue talking about decimals. Think money. If you think money, it helps you figure decimals out. Okay. Because a dollar is a hundred cents. Okay. I'll see you next video. Bye.